years ago, Joel Cohen made the tragedy of Macbeth without his brother Ethan. Now Ethan has gone solo with drive-away dolls. But together or apart, a Cohen film is always worth your attention. With drive-away dolls, Ethan leaves his sibling on the side of the road, but delivers a film that has the pace, absurdity, and wacky characters that you've grown to expect in their collaborative works. Drive-away dolls is set in motion by a mysterious case. The case, Santos. Not on your life. And a pair of young women who accidentally get a drive-away car containing the case from Curly. Don't call me Curly. And your name Curly? My name is Curly. We just met. It's too familiar. Drive-Away Dolls is a trippy, raunchy, darkly comic queer joyride. It takes a few unexpected turns and delivers a spot-on cast of celebrity cameos as well as great character actors. It doesn't have a lot on its mind, but it offers a most entertaining ride. In sharp contrast, the zone of interest has a lot on its mind. In fact, it's all about an idea rather than a story. The idea is to explore the banality of evil through a portrait of Rudolf Haas, the real-life commandant of Auschwitz, as he and his wife Hedwig strive to create a perfect life living next to a death camp. On the one hand, Zone of Interest is a chillingly brilliant dissection of evil that uses sound design in a boldly effective way. On the other hand, it feels like an intellectual exercise that proves its thesis early on and then just keeps repeating its obvious point with relentless single-mindedness and without further illumination. But despite some frustrations with the film, I still recommend The Zone of Interest, if only for the stunning and innovative sound design that becomes a character all its own and conveys the horrors that lie just beyond the well-groomed garden and its protective walls. Beth Accomando, KPBS News.